So today we're going to talk about the top three reasons why you aren't making money online. So this is going to be a little bit of tough love, but you really need to hear it because if you change around these things, then it can dramatically increase your traffic to your site and your sales online. So stay tuned and make sure you don't skip this video. Hi, I'm Elle McCann and I am the owner of Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been Shopify experts for over five years now and I want to drop a little business truth on you today. Today I want to talk about why you're not making money online and how to fix that. I talk to so many people who say that they just launched their Shopify store but they aren't actually getting any sales or traffic to it yet. This is so common because I see these three things happen all the time. Okay, so enough talking about it. What are the three tips that I have of why you're not making sales online and how to change it? So first one is that you aren't speaking to your ideal customer audience. So this is so easy to fix because it's something that you can change in terms of your design, your copy, your social media, and your marketing. So when you're thinking about your site, I see so many people who build the site based on their likes or dislikes, and they don't really take into effect what their customer likes or what wording is gonna really speak to them. So we actually have a small course on our site that goes through exactly how to figure out who your ideal customer is. We walk you through how to figure out what they like, what they don't like, what shows they're watching, what music they like, which you may think, okay, why is this important? But once you know exactly who your customer is, it is exponentially easier to market to them. So the biggest mistake is people just not actually gearing their site and their media and everything to their ideal customer. A lot of people list their product description like a bullet point list of ingredients or, or parts or whatever, and that's not gonna really sell it. So if you really have it to go more into the benefits and how it's going to specifically help this customer, let's say your customer is a mom, how is it gonna improve that mom's life? How is it gonna improve her kid's life? If you really go into detail like that, you're gonna be so much more likely to connect with that potential customer and actually sell them your product. So the number two thing of why people are not making money online is that your product sucks. Ah, oh, I hate saying that, but it's really true sometimes. So I want you to take a really honest look at your product and say, okay, is this the best product images or description that I could be using? Or maybe your pricing is a little off or your shipping is too high. There are so many different factors of what can cause someone to not continue purchasing on your site. Even if your product speaks directly to them and it's something that they want, it may still not resonate with them if it still sucks. So a great example of this would, like I mentioned before, be editing the description and making it be very beneficial and, and list out all the benefits for your ideal customer. Also, I see so many people who are drop shipping their products from China or wherever, and they're using the original photo that is sent to them by the drop shipper that's listed online. This is a huge pet peeve of mine, but it's also going to not really resonate the most with your customers. If you think about it, all those images are basic images. They're not high resolution. There's not any kind of styling with them most of the time. It's just kind of the product on a white background and it's really hard to sell that. So I really encourage you to actually order the products that you're shipping and stage your own photo shoot at home. It doesn't take a lot of time or money to do that, but just staging it at home and having more stylized images or maybe images of people actually wearing it, it's really going to connect a lot more with your customers. Also look at what your pricing is. Are you pricing it too cheap so that people think, oh, this isn't a good quality? Are you pricing it too high where you're not actually conveying the value of it in your description and in your photos? Or maybe is your shipping too high and that's what's really turning people off. So I really want you to take a targeted look 
at your products that you're selling on your site now and go through this and say, okay, how are my products? Do they suck? Do I have things that I could change? And how can I improve upon them? Because once you do that and you start making sure that your products are really gonna be beneficial for anyone who looks at them and they're gonna kind of sell themselves, then you're gonna be good to go. So the third and final reason why you're not making money online is because you don't have a clear marketing strategy. So I see this a lot with people who say, oh, well, I'm posting on Instagram or I'm posting on Facebook regularly or I've joined all these Facebook groups or maybe you're even doing some Facebook advertising. That is great. However, if you're not coming up with a plan of how to actually implement everything and say, okay, once I've driven this traffic to my site, what page am I gonna send them to on my site? What's my messaging gonna be like? Do I have a retargeting campaign where I can follow up with people? If you don't have all these elements in place of really getting a great strategy, then it's not gonna really work. There's so many times where I see people doing just one of the items. Maybe they are doing a ton of Facebook ads and they're converting really well for them. But as soon as they stop spending money on Facebook ads, now they don't have any sales because they haven't built out all these other streams. Or for example, you could be killing it on social media, but you're not doing great call to actions of actually selling your products. And you're too scared to spend money on advertising. Don't be scared to spend money on advertising because in the beginning, when you're just starting out with a small audience, you have to spend money on advertising to even get people to know about your site. The whole build it and they will come is not a thing. There's so much competition on the internet now that you have to make sure that you're standing out from your competition and actually letting people know that you exist. So make sure that you've got a clear marketing strategy put together for your business. Make sure that you've got some automated emails set up, that you have a consistent social media strategy, as well as ways that you're going to use paid advertising, influencers, and bring it all together to make a really cohesive strategy. Don't just send people to your homepage of your site and just expect it to convert because I promise you, it's not going to convert. So make sure you're sending them to a targeted page on your site and you have a very clear mission of when you first talk to them in the ad or the social media post and how you're going to talk to them again on that landing page. This is how you're gonna really bring it all together and make sure that you can get more sales and traffic to your site. So I hope this video was helpful and it wasn't too harsh. I would love to know what you think and are there ways that you have increased your sales by implementing some of these or is there one that really stood out for you that you're going to implement on your site this week? So make sure to post in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And if you're not already yet, make sure to subscribe to this video because I post new videos all about Shopify every Monday through Friday. So grow your store with me and subscribe today.